This one's going to cause some discussion, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you either love them or you hate them. Personally, I actually think they're great. And I'll tell you why. I, and it's mainly because for my vlogging channel, I, uh, I do like selfie sticks. Obviously, there is a fair bit of hate for them. And I can understand why. And yes, people like to call people using them names because, you know, it does look a bit daft you walking around the street with your smartphone on the end of a stick. Let's have a look at it anyway. So this was uh, sent out to me by ULAC. A big thank you to them for sending me that out. And it's pink. <laughs> Quite shocking pink. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the review anyway, guys. So... Now I've actually already got one of these, which is uh, the main reason why I didn't open it and use it. Um, well, I did have one. It sort of got uh, sequestrated by uh, one of my family. And the design is pretty much the same, you know, they're all pretty, you know, uniform in the design. Although some of them are better done at the ends. And this is one of the better ones I find. Now, they do go super long, these ones. You know, there is a lot of pull there. Um, I'm just trying to sort of guesstimate the size here, I would put that at about a metre long. Uh, you know, it is a nice long length of uh, telescopic loveliness. <laughs> so let's put the end on anyway. So these ends, literally, you screw them on like so. They've got a little grippy surface that comes up to meet, which stops them uh, twisting around and what have you. And then your adjustability then is by this little sort of knob here that allows you to adjust the angle. You tighten it up and that's it. You're in position. And then we have a little... Now this is a little more solid than mine was. But that's... Uh, you've got like this little protector thing here. And that literally just slides over there. Goes around in a curve and locks in. And that's it. And that is just to give your device some protection, which is a good idea. And then you've got a foam lining in there and a foam lining there at the end. Just, just in there so you know everything's protected nicely so let's go back down obviously get a charge lead with it there but if we take that back down to size and we'll take a look at the business end here on the end there you can just see you've got micro USB port for charging it and your on off switch below it and there is a little red LED in there that tells you uh, obviously connection status and charge status and something else about these um, these particular ones is they also have the release button here you know you, you shut a button which is so much better than the uh, the business with the uh, this one where they have the separate remote I've even seen some actually have a cable remote you know I mean that's it's just it, it just seems pointless not only would you be carrying that around you're also then carrying around a little remote control small be it and it can hang off a key ring but you're still having to carry it around whereas this you don't you just use that and that'll start and stop either recording or take a photograph. So let's get to my iPhone 6 Plus in it. So there you go, that's what your device looks like in it. Now when you get onto the bigger phones obviously there's a lot more leverage over your hand there and it is a little more awkward sort of keeping a steady hand when you've got it out to longer sort of lengths. But um, you know, it's the thing is people use them stupidly. That is the biggest problem is people go out into public, start waving them around all over the place, people get hit, people end up with these sticks waving around in front of their face, and then I can understand what the problem is. If you use them in a sensible manner, I mean, you can even use them to sort of find problems in, say, a gutter. Say your ladder's not long enough, you know, you can get up there, stick your phone in, and get yourself a, you know, either a photograph or a bit of video footage of gutters or something like that that are blocked. You know, anything that's out of reach. And not just that, you know, they are great for vlogging with. I mean, put it this way, if somebody gets you some really rad footage with their GoPro camera where they've had it on a pole, they call that a boom pole, and that's great. You know, that's awesome stuff. You shove it on a, what's called a selfie stick and people start scoffing at it. So, you know, I suppose you've just got to make up your own mind. You know, you, you are going to either love them or hate them. I actually like them and, uh, you know, from that point of view, I, I, I will always have 
a space for them basically so there you go guys that is the selfie stick from ULAC one of the, uh, the better designed ones out there uh, definitely definitely up there with the top end of them uh, so let me know what you think in the uh, comments underneath guys do you love them do you hate them uh, I can see now what most of the <laughs> most of the answers are going to be so uh, there you go guys big thank you to you like for sending this out for review and I'll uh, I'll see you all in the next one cheers guys see you Thank you.